Hi guys, I hope everybody's doing great today. This is Michael Jones with 360 Virtual Drone Services out of Goldsboro, North Carolina. Uh, and this is Jones Knows Drones, episode 22. So today we're going to talk about something I spoke with a friend of mine. He is a FAA regist registered pilot, uh, also in North Carolina, Mr. Tommy Dorsey. So Tommy Dorsey calls me one day and asked, what is it, $99 to register a drone? And I said, no, it's not. So what happens, um, and I'm afraid this happens to a lot of people, especially new people, they go to Google and they type in register drone or FAA registration on drones, and the top link um, ha has a, a site that's called federaldroneregistration.com. So if you're not careful and you're in a hurry and you're quick, uh, you'll click on this, which takes you to a site, and it has a registration form. You fill it out and charge on your credit card $99. As we all know, it costs $5 to register your drone. So these people are basically uh, registering your drone for you and charging you $5. Here's the catch though, something Tommy actually recognized later. So Tommy checks his FAA drone zone inventory and the drone is not there, it's a Mavic Pro. So he calls the company because he realizes he didn't get his sticker. Um, you think they would send him a sticker for $99. Um, so he calls the company or emails them about the sticker and they basically tell him that uh, it's going to come. So Tommy called the FAA looking help. The guy basically told him from the FAA that they only filed complaints, that they couldn't look up the F number. Then I think he finally talked to someone else and he got transferred back to the original guy who then maybe looked the number up for him and advised him that the drone was registered, but it was not registered in his name. And he couldn't tell Tommy because privacy rights who it was registered under. So Tommy, understandably, has the drone, so he would like to know who it's registered under. But he writes his company back. They can't tell him. I think they stopped replying to him. They did, however, manage to make the $99 transaction fee on his credit card for him. And I guess had a nice dinner. So Tommy, they got you on that one, man. But uh, luckily you caught everything. So maybe we can warn some other people. So make sure when you go out on Google and you search, uh, maybe you get a new drone and you want to search how to register it, make sure you go to the FAA Drone Zone. You know, go to Google, type in FAA Drone Zone, and go to that website. It will have you log in, create an account. You'll be able to log in, keep up with all your inventory under your name. Don't have a third party company register your drone or you'll be in the same situation Tommy's in. So uh, anyway, we just want to throw it out there. I asked Tommy for permission to do this uh, so we can give you guys uh, a warning, especially all the new, especially all the newbies coming up, uh, and they want to, you know, they want to do the right thing and register their drone. And then you go out and a third party takes ninety five dollars of your money and has a nice dinner you know, at uh, a steakhouse and you're $95 short. And your, your drone's registered, but you don't know who it's registered under. So anyway, guys, be warned, be careful when you check that out. And uh, as always, be sure to subscribe below and check the little bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I put out another episode. This is Jones Knows Drones, it's episode 22. We will talk to you next time. As always, fly safe. Peace.